Heavy rain made for a damp start to New Year's Eve. This is video from the WRL camera in Raleigh in the last hour. Now, despite the weather, WRL's first night is a great place to celebrate the new year. WRL's Dan Haggerty and Keely Arthur are downtown in the heart of all the action where the party is already underway. Guys, I'm a little bit jealous. You should be. You should be jealous. Man, we're having a good time. We're official. We got the headsets going. Uh, rain was the big story, but uh, it seems like an old story at this point. It right? is. I mean, here we go. I felt the raindrops on my back like 10 minutes ago. Now it's just that nice breeze. So any concerns about showing up tonight, I think you don't have to worry. The weather is going to be nice, like Mike was saying. Bring it down. Pack the car. Um, this has been a really great day. You know, it doesn't look real busy behind us. It's going to look a lot different in a few hours. Yeah. But there's so much going on down here, especially for families, young people. Yes, and it really is one of those events for New Year's that is focused on families. I feel like that doesn't always happen. There's right. been tons of options for kids all day long. The events for kids started at 2 p.m. today, and the acorn drop for the children is going to be at 7 p.m. We know, of course, the big acorn drop is going to be at midnight. Regardless of what you were doing today, coming down here, doing something at your house, going to visit friends or family, the weather was on everybody's mind because, was. boy, was it pouring for, for a big portion of the day. Oh, yeah. Our Brett Niece uh, is out and about today talking to folks how it's impacted plans and kind of what they're anticipating for the night. Brett, how are things going there? Hey, Keely and Danny, I'm on the other side of Fayetteville Street right now because the people's procession was canceled because of that rain. Right now, though, dry, not seeing any rain. And here behind us, we got the big Ferris wheel. We got plenty of vendors out here. And uh, we had a lot of people actually walking by us right now, kind of a pseudo people's procession. Usually there's thousands of people out here for this, but the rain has really dampened that part of it. But it's not dampened people's spirits. Take a look at some video we shot earlier, actually, of one of the rides out here. There were a couple of kids in the middle of the pouring rain taking to that Skyhawk ride and just having the time of their lives. And a lot of people had umbrellas. They're having those ponchos, but just doing what they can to ring in 2023. We didn't realize it was going to rain like this, but we're still super excited to enjoy the time we have together um, going into 2023. Now, if you look down here behind me, we got one of the stages set up behind me, and there's plenty of music going down there. Lots of people starting to show up here in downtown Raleigh. The rain has started to move out. People hoping that that continues to be the case here through the night. Mike will be able to tell us better. Uh, and we're, we're just hoping to have a dry time and getting to see that acorn drop. Of course, we'll have the one at 7 o'clock, and then once again at midnight. Everybody just ready to ring in 2023, Keely and Dan. Brett, sounds good. His hair's looking good. You know, you don't yeah, want to get the rain on the impressive. hair. How does he yeah, do it like nah, that? He's looking good out there. Brett, thank you. Uh, it's starting to get busy. You see how many people were behind him in the live shot. For anybody that's coming down, we do want you to know, uh, we know security is a big issue for a lot of people and families in these giant mass gatherings like this. And from what we're seeing, it's all pretty much on lockdown. So it, as you get closer to this area, you're going to see barricades up, a lot of flashing lights and security in place. Uh, keep that in mind. One, when you're, uh, when you're driving down here and looking for a place to park. You know, there are some areas that are shut down, of course, for the festivities. Uh, but just know that the police are down here, that the barricades are set up, and that safety is a top priority. And I think they're also trying to have a presence but stay out of the fray so people can enjoy what they came here to do, and that's to celebrate the new year. Something that's amazing about this event is the fact that we're going to hear from local artists really Love hearing it. the talent in the Triangle, which is so nice. So uh, live performances, musical performances are a big part of this between 10 o'clock and the ball drop at midnight. We are going to be bringing you some live performances and showing you some great musical acts. Uh, Cindy Morgan will perform a new artist, Blair Holland. These are local people who are going to show you the talent that's right here in our area. And I got a little sneak preview. Both of them are going to sing Old Lang Sign for us coming up. Julian, you're going to want to hear it. All right, Julian, stay tight. Hey, keep coming back to us, man. We got all the info you need. Oh, we are coming all night. Thanks, Dan and Keely. We will see you a little bit later.